Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Heidi here from Children with H and in this video I'm going to show you how to make eggplant caviar. No, it's actually baigan choka, right? <laughs> it's a really delightful dish and it's such a healthy option to have it for breakfast or even for dinner rather than loading up on pancakes with a whole lot of syrup. Now, I'm not criticizing people and their pancakes. I'm just saying if we go back to eating traditional food and including veggies in our breakfast and in, and in our lunch, it's going to be a lot more beneficial than having carbs and sugar syrup on everything. And here's a tip. The younger baigan or eggplant is better for making choka because the pulp or the insides of it is softer so it cooks faster when you're roasting it and of course the seeds are softer as well. So to begin we're just making a couple slits along the side of the baigan or the eggplant and we're going to insert the cloves of garlic. When that's done, we're heading over to the stove and replacing it on an open flame to roast. Make sure that it's properly roasted. And to do that, you have to keep turning it occasionally. I'm also roasting my cherry peppers. You can use a pair of clippers or tongs to hold it over the flame. Or if you prefer not to roast the pepper, you can just cut it up or blend it. It's simple ingredients and all you'll need is onions as much as you like, peppers as much as you like, that's optional. If you're not a pepper eater, please feel free to leave it out. And at least three cloves of garlic, you could also increase that or adjust as you need. I'm using one small melangeon or eggplant or baigan as we call it. And you can use bigger ones if you wish, you can use smaller ones, it's up to you depending on how many people you are catering for. In this case I'm just using one little one and to tell when it's a good baigan to roast or to make choka with, you need to press it and you'll see that your finger will leave an indentation on the skin. Or you can half it and you'll find that it sounds a little hollow and it's, you know, it feels a little light. So this is how you can tell when it's a young baigan. Remember to keep turning your eggplant on the open flame so that it is well roasted. Once it's well roasted, you remove it from the flame. I already have a couple sheets of paper towel laid out on my counter. So I'm now placing the baigan on to the paper towel, which makes cleanup a whole lot easier. I'm using a spoon and a fork to gently remove the charred skin and scoop out the cooked pulp of the melangeon or eggplant.
and of course I have my handy mini uh, food processor or chopper standing by because I'm not actually mashing the pulp I'm actually going to pulse it in the food processor which gives me a creamier texture rather than mashing now you can mash it you can use a fork and mash the pulp in a bowl that's fine I've added my garlic and the pepper in there as well and after it's pulsed a couple times this is what it looks like add it to a bowl sprinkle in some salt and I'm topping it with some olive oil just about two tablespoons of olive oil and give it a good mix Now some people tend to temper their baigan or eggplant choka and they would use some oil heated with some jira or cumin seeds and then they pour that onto the baigan choka. You can do that if you wish. I prefer eating it this way so everybody has their own technique and this is the way I make baigan choka or eggplant mash if you want to call it. Or if you want to get all fancy, eggplant caviar. <laughs> I actually came across the name eggplant caviar one day while I was uh, working on air at the radio station. There was this recipe and they talked about eggplant caviar. And when I went through the whole recipe, it actually was baigan choka. And someone um, changed the name to eggplant caviar and added a few other little ingredients to it and made it their own. So you see how creative you can be with just one simple recipe? Well, I'm serving it here with some delightful hot sada roti, which is the norm. If you want, you can make this for breakfast or dinner time. It's really delightful with a hot cup of tea. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to pray, exercise, eat, love, and be happy. Thanks for chilling with H today and I'll see you guys in the next video.